All right, hello everyone. I'm Mr. Mokelover, and thank you for joining me here with, of course, Dune Hammer Gaming, the Dune Master. Um, so we're gonna just we're just gonna pick up right where we left off last time and just keep on chugging until we end up going to war with everyone in the world. So. Yep. It's. Uh... It could get messy. It could get very messy. Oh, I hope it gets messy. But not too messy. I like a little bit of organization. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want any, like, mental border gore happening, because oh. it just... Oh, it triggers me. That reminds me. I should make some Coast Guard divisions in time. In time. Because I don't want to deal with everyone in the Grandma invading me at the current moment. Ah, oh, allies doing naval invasions. The most fun thing to defend against. Because it's all they do. And somehow Italy invades and ends up invading Prussia somehow. Oh, <laughs> some, some random stuff happens. Uh, let's see, do I want more attack? Um, industry, industry. Although, there is times where I really do love the random crap happening because it's like, oh, finally, something that makes this a little bit different from the rest. Yeah, totally. Uh, what is what is Italy doing? Are they going to say fascist? Italian mm -hmm. highways. Uh, Algerian France, of course. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. If they go with Italy first and make their faction, mm, that's true. I better get uh, <laughs> Austria under us. Which way is just oh. so oh. Hungary is oh, went with fascism, which is okay. Sometimes with historical AI off, they'll go with try to re reunite the king. Mm. Looks like have, have you ever seen have you ever seen them go democratic i've never seen them go democratic never. oh i've seen it once and i'm like why it is absolutely crap nothing says democracy like hungary going democratic it's just it's just why why would you ever want to play like i know they added it just for like having the sake of all the ideologies but like it's so boring like i've never sat down and thought do you know what they play as democratic Hungry. I've had people want me to play as Hungry before, but actually I've never done that. I should do this sometime. Mm -hmm. But Democratic Hungry? It's so boring. It's like you can make the Balkan Pact and get Romania to join an unlikely alliance. It's like, no. <laughs> you, just, you just suck and die together. That's There's no nothing unlikely about it. It's just a terrible faction. Oh, gotta love it. The AI is sometimes magnificent, sometimes... oh. Just like, what are you doing? Have you ever played as Sweden or Norway or even Finland to try to unite Scandinavia? I have not yet, but since I'm doing achievement runs, I'm sure you've actually got the players one of them and get them all to yeah, together. Yeah. I have not done that as well. I thought about that. Yeah. It's just, oh no, I can see that being a right pain because you know them would end up getting like communist or something. You're like, oh yeah. well, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see, 37. What's so special about 1937 besides industry? Oh, is there anything? Construction stuff, plane stuff, naval stuff. Uh, uh, cruisers are really, okay. I really hope the Soviets get a, a new tree sometime soon. Oh man, I, that's probably in the following DLC as well. I hope so. Because it's either that or Italy. Because this one's France and Spain for the you know the the next one. So mm -hmm. it's got it's got to be another major power at least. So it's either Italy, it's... Soviets, because they did did Japan. Yeah, I feel like they should have just included Italy in this one and just called it like the Mediterranean. Yeah, I was hoping they would, but just just paradox things. Because uh, is, is Portugal getting a tree? Yes, it is. I think. Ah. Uh, so yeah, why didn't they? That would have been uh, that would have been perfect if they had included Italy. Then again, I guess it could have been maybe too much work for them. Uh, you know what? Let's see. What do I want? It's a good thing to ask. What do I want? Yeah, what um, do you want? I don't know. You know what? I don't even Let's do that. that. Let's go ahead and rearrange a few things. Actually, that is... Ah, uh, yes. Let's do that. Oh, I can invite to faction. Um, you know what? For now, sure, why not? Oh, okay. I'll take you. They have, oh, they haven't even switched the fascist yet, and they're doing that. Interesting. No, the, honestly, every time that happens, they usually just leave my faction eventually. Well, hopefully, because they're gonna die. <laughs> they're probably not gonna be happy. 
Oh, I wonder if they'll join our faction if we do a merger and they're still in your axis. Uh, maybe. I have no idea. I, do I hope so, but seeing as I've... Like I, like I mentioned in the last video, I tried this once. And whenever I joined the faction with the Soviets, everyone left yeah, me. Yeah, everyone pieces out. It's like, nope, we're not being friends with the communists. Goodbye. <sighs> oh, do you, do you not get a stability hit, actually, for doing it? Ooh, I don't know. Suffer, yeah, yeah. Suffer some losses that lead you to change your policy. Oh, let's double check. Doesn't actually say how much, though. Yeah. Dude, oh, it disbands the access, so I don't think. That's alright, yeah, we can make more uh, yeah. stability, you know. Oh, oh it's me, I'm from Germany. I've never seen Germany do the puppet turkey focus. Puppet turkey? Yeah, it's after the alliance with the USSR, rather than befriending them to help evade. Oh, the yeah, I've never. Well, I mean, obviously, I almost never seem to do alliance with the USSR, so. Puppet turkey? Why would we puppet turkey? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like they've just put the opposite in for just like, oh, yeah, well, that's you, true. You, you befriend them if you're going to war with the USSR. Let's, be, let's just invade them if you befriend the Russians. Let's see. We'll do this. We'll do this. This is all in preparation, we'll say. Let's... How am I doing with tanks? That is oh, these templates, they're not bad. Infantry, infantry to infantry uno. Um, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. This. Uh, get rid of that. I'm not even going to use cavalry. And I'm still joined here by my cat Binky, who is making all sorts of funny noises behind me. Yes, indeed. <laughs> he always gets that way when he's on my bed for some reason. Not sure why. Cool. Um, let's see. Let's make. Well, whatever division we can make for Coast Guards for now. Let's see, 1937. So, what type of, like, what's your infantry division like? Like, what do you go for? Do you still use the 7-2? Um, infantry and artillery? For the most part, right now, what I'm using is just all infantry battalions. 10 infantry battalions. Yeah, that's what I'm rocking right now. It seems to be, that's what I always go for now. Like, I used to be the, like, oh, 7-2 all the way. <laughs> Went away from it. I mean, for the most part, I'll probably still do that, but... For this campaign, I'm not going to do that just because I want to focus more on the Air Force. That being said, I keep well, throwing more factories on guns. <laughs> that's one thing I'm doing so hot on right now, guns. Planes, planes, planes. i got to produce planes, planes, planes. Give me those planes. I'm trying to produce some planes, but it's pro... Oh, my days. I, I was sitting like, I've not got cash yet. It was one of the first researches I've done. <laughs> I have not put them into production. It's only 1937. We got time. It's okay. We got time. We do. We do. And then you realize it's like 1941. We're at war with the entire world. Yeah, America's now naval invading from Alaska, killing me. Adolf, uh, no, Adolf uh, H. Um, you know, good old 80. I was criticized for weak foreign policy. What do you want me to do? It's only 1937. I already killed the Netherlands. <laughs> I lose a little bit of war support, a little bit of uh, political power. Why? Ah, uh, uh, just. I guess it's you know the the German people have spoken. Times. They have indeed. They the are politicians not have age. spoken. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so there's no reason for me to go to extensive conscription right now. Absolutely no need. Absolute reason to go. You need more manpower. <laughs> I've got, I've just got two mills sitting there. It's like it keeps telling, like it's just there. Like go, go up to extensive. You can do it. Do it. Do it now. Oh, I've been in the deposit of heroes and actually get Constantine. Oh. Yes. I will reassert my claims. Oh, let's let's have a little bit of fun. Oh, yay! That's the only part of Lithuania that I really wanted. Good, because the rest is mine. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> have... I'm going to gobble that. Up. Oh, okay, Bink. So I was thinking, you know, in Kaiserreich, I want to eventually do a campaign. Oh, Germany looks pretty nice right now. But a campaign in Kaiserreich where you play as a United Baltic Duchy, but you Germanize, and then when you Germanize, you eventually play as a German Empire. I, I've always kind of fancied playing that game sometime, trying that Ooh. out. Yeah, people have asked me to play it. Like, I'm just like, oh, but they're so just, just there. <laughs> like, they don't really do much. 
No, I like yeah. playing as the big boys that can actually like turn the tide of the war or do some damage. Pretty much. I, I mean, I'm sure you get recommended to play different countries and different mods all the time, right? Yeah, I try to do my best to get to them as soon as possible. Like, I have a massive ass to nations at play. It's like the days where I had like a hundred people, and just like once in a while I get a request, and I oh, can yeah. easily just fulfill the, the like them asking me for that playthrough. I can actually do it. Oh gosh, there's just it mainly seems to be Kaiserite because I do spend a lot of time on that. No, yeah. yeah, I to be honest, I kind of avoid Kaiserite to a degree just because the lag by middle to end game is just so much. Yeah, it does get quite bad. And the Germans are just completely... They're just too strong right now. They always beat the Third International. Like, they always beat them. Always. Just, just... I'm just waiting now to come out for it. Oh, yeah. When is the update supposed to come out? Well, they said November to December between those months. But if there's any delays, then... Well, if there's any issues... We'll be home by Christmas, delays. you know, of course. You know, 2020. So yeah, so, like, they don't have a set date, which is a bit annoying, because I'm like, but well, maybe I could play through it on Kaiserreich, but I don't want to start one and go, oh, well, I can't finish it, because it's been updated, and yeah. I can no longer play it. Oh, I hate that so much. Yeah, well, I've just had to abandon the last Kaiserreich series I was doing, because I was using a sub-mod, and mm -hmm. it's not been updated yet. Uh... But if I go back to the previous version, Kaiserreich's not there on my mod list. Yeah, oh, that's terrible. I was like, oh, I was having so fun, I was playing as New England, and I just started evading the CSA. Hmm, okay. I've never played as New England. That was my first time playing it as well. I was really enjoying it. And the sub mod adds in a bit of a meme, really, because yeah. um, the bad guy from Bioshock Infinite takes control of New England. Oh, no. oh. oh man. Oh, I forget. Comstock or whatever his Comstock, name is. Comstock, yeah, something like that. Oh, man, I love Bioshock. Yeah, I've never played it, but like people are like, oh, my days, that's the Bioshock guy. And I'm like, what? But, yep, he's fascist. He's fascist in it. It's like, oh, well. Not Paul, sorry. It's Kaiser X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that F word. I don't, I don't know if YouTube mm. really approved of that. Oh, sorry, yeah. That, <laughs> that F word. <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, F word. They're fine with the other F word, just not that F word. Yeah, there's quite a few F words, huh? There really is, and they're all bad. Well, except from food. Food's good. Food is always a good word. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. I've got a battleship. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, elastic defense. I like that. Uh, I always go with mobile infantry whenever I'm doing mobile warfare. How so? How often do you choose? Um, what was it? The other land doctrines. Oh damn! Right. <laughs> Just now you mentioned land doctrines. I hate using mass assault, even when I'm playing as a Soviet. I hate it. I've never seen the use for it. I usually go superior firepower. If I'm playing as like someone mm -hmm. that really doesn't have the industry to pump out loads of tanks, yeah. But usually, all the time when I play Germany, I go down the blit, uh, the mo well, Blitzkrieg and then modern Blitzkrieg and just go for sheer tank power. Yeah. Let's see, gonna... But thank you for mentioning land doctrines because I'm going to change the superior firepower. I might even go mobile warfare, maybe. What are we doing on tanks? Yeah, I'm not going mobile warfare. I'm going to have tanks, just not that many. I have nine <laughs> divisions. I have nine. I, th I think that's, a nah, good that's start. better than me. That's better than me. <laughs> oh, whoa. I, I'm. And again, I am going to upgrade the medium soon, so that is going to take a I bit of a hit. I haven't really been focusing on, at all on tanks, and I forgot. Actually, I forgot about my tanks. Actually, I have not because I'm still researching the medium tanks. It's only 1937, so I got 10 days. Yeah, I've got 60. 1939 tanks popping out at 38. Brilliant. Beautiful. I remember when. Uh, what was it Waking the Tiger DLC release? And you started, you could play as you know the German Kaiserreich with Wilhelm back, you know Kaiser Wilhelm. Oh, so uh, fun! What was that? Um, you could get like 1944 battleships, like early on. Mm. Like, like in 1939, you could get like 1944 battleships. It was so ma glorious, just the the best like heavy power ship in the game, in like yeah. 1940. You just blow everyone out of the water, especially if it's upgraded. Mm. Just so much fun. I love playing as the Kaiser, right? That's your 400 I love, I love breaking the tree as well. Like doing the wee exploit that bypasses the Rhineland when you do oh, yeah. Hitler. Yeah. It's so good because then you can just declare war on everybody through the, the normal fascist focus tree. It's like, oh, well, great. 
Never plays the democracy. I don't know if we've ever done that. Uh, Democratic the, Germany. The Bundes oh my Republic? God. Yeah. Oh, boring. Yeah. So bad. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to like go, oh yeah, we're going to stand against the Soviets. And they get like interesting events to give them like a bit of aid because everyone in Europe literally starts standing against them. Yeah. You just make a huge, basically the European Union faction, really. Oh, the European Union. Let's see. I think for now. I'm going to try something different. Mm. I usually go with Fock Volv, I believe, or uh, the Junkers for my Air Force aircraft designers. I want to go to Dornier for more naval bomber stuff. Let's try something else. Let's try something else a little bit different this time. Change it up. Change yeah. Up. I actually expanded a little bit on my military factories, too. Definitely want to try something different out for this campaign. Uh, let's see. Infantry is doing pretty well. I'm going to need some uh, medium panzers, please. Extreme focus on that. Medium panzers. Templates. Ooh, tungsten. Sweden. Give me some of your tungsten. Oh, good old Sweden. For some reason, when my dad plays as Germany, he loves to invade Sweden. I'm like, why? But then I realized, like, this was back when I wasn't really that good at the game. Yeah. They have tons of steel and tungsten. Oh my goodness, it's 60. Oh my days. All of they the are... north. Oh. I guess it gives you easier access to kill Norway as well, I guess. Yeah, if you especially want to do some, uh, get some heavy water for nuclear power plants, but that, I don't yeah. think that's in the game. <laughs> no, uh, that would be interesting if it was, actually. Hmm. Uh, it looks like the oh, Nationalists are winning, too. Oh, that's still ongoing. My oh, it's gosh. only 1938. Happy 1938, everyone. That's something I do in all my videos. Yay. I try to remind everyone, Happy Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Slow. Sad times. Uh, Republic in Spain. National Spain. I'm going to eventually kill whoever's in Spain in the end anyways, probably. Yeah. It doesn't even we matter. We don't need them in our faction. Uh, and, and I'll probably puppet Hungary, puppet parts of Romania. So that's probably what I'm probably going to do. Uh, these battleships. There's really no point to upgrade any of these ships except for light cruisers. I don't even have uh, radar. I don't even have radar on these guys. Oh, the UK's close to flipping the communist. They're on forty percent. They're close. Yeah, how I forget how long it takes for them to do that. Yeah, I'm thinking they just really do have to just get up to fifty percent. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're going to be seeing some random nations popping out soon because they are doing revisit colonial policy, so the fun times are coming. <laughs> Africa I... is just going to explode. I can't wait to oh, see. So 50,000 different <laughs> new nations. Yeah, just seeing the allies, like the number of nations in the faction, just like you cannot see any of the flags. Let's Who's all these guys? Hipper. Yeah, when you use your naval stuff, how often. What's your template? Do you just use whatever's there or. Yeah, I think you kind of said that. Yeah, I just. I literally go ahead and just get all. If I can, if it's possible, I get all my ships and just stick them in big one stack. Like one big stack. And that is it for the game. Alright, yeah, Bink, you want. And I just. You okay? Just keep putting ships into it. Okay. Yeah, I just. I'm just kind of thinking of my. um, My temp. What kind of a ship template? A naval template. I don't really use templates. But I uh, just. What ships I use. I almost never use heavy cruisers. I don't really see the point of them. No, I usually, well, I don't really pay too much attention. I really think I should start. I can get 1941 tanks in 291 days. Wow. <laughs> wow. Holy mo- um, Oh, gosh. I, yeah, I think I might try and get into the Navy, because I went a little bit more into Air Force, so it wouldn't hurt, I guess, to just go the last little hurdle into the Navy as well. Let's see. Uh, as you, you might not notice, but I'm, I'm slowly taking apart Yugoslavia. Just a little bit. Yeah, just, you know, take them apart. Just the my... rightful German territory like Slovenia mm. and the good stuff. Yes. And, you know, Neville's just over there in the UK just going, yep, we're going to give you all. Oh, okay, Poland. Oh, the Mizimore, if that's even how you pronounce it. I don't think I've ever nailed that pronunciation. Um, hmm. You know what? This is in response to what... The Polish have just said, my focus. Oh, the Malta Provincial Pact. You know Fantastic. what? Fantastic. I need protection from Poland. You never know what the Poles might do. 
Well, you never, and for some reason, when they've got no historical AI focuses on, they like to pump out divisions. They only have between about, well, 45 and 66 apparently right now, but I can see another year, they're going to have like a hundred. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, that would be good fun, just destroying all those divisions. Let's see, it's 1938, I need to research radar. Um, and of course, computing machine, all that good stuff. Oh, what am I thinking of? Uh, another Coast Guard division. Thank you very much. Let's plop you right there. Oh, actually, I need to, before I do that, um, Coast Guards. If I lose a little bit of territory from the Netherlands that I took out of, in the New World, so be it, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, mm. Just guard all that. Guard, guard, guard. We still work oh, we are working on military factories. Good, excellent. You know what? I'm focusing a little bit more on my navy now. I might as well do that. I've got four ships. Uh, battleship. It, it says it's a battleship, but it's not a very good battleship. <laughs> Repairs. They're doing well. Yeah. Let's keep on plugging up, guys. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Tanks, 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 tanks. Go ahead, throw one new medium tank battalion in there. Factory-wise, produce, produce, produce. Ah, infantry. Glorious infantry. And actually, you know what? Let me see my tanks one way. Just in case uh, the Yugoslavians get a little uncooperative. Just mm, in case. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're just going to roll. I think they'll just roll over as well, but you, you never know. You never, you know. never know. It's non-historical. Let's see. Oh. Ah, there they go. Oh, what are they doing? Yep, guide the colonies. <laughs> guide the colonies to leave us, yes. Glorious. Brilliant, as they will leave you anyways because you're going communist. Screw you, Dad. I don't want to listen to you anymore. <laughs> that, is, that is actually what's going to happen. Canada's just gonna jump ship. Oh, I wonder if they'll form their own little faction in the colonies. Oh, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, Jamaican just take the UK. Former colonies. Oh, Jamaican. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Uh, oh, wait, is there an even smaller country? Or even Malta? Oh. Imagine Malta being the leader. <laughs> the Knights oh, of Malta gosh. leads a faction. Gosh, you capitulate them, you capitulate the whole faction. That would be great. Just, what is it? Capitulate Wells and you. And they just die. They like die or something. That's like a meme on like the Kaiserreich subreddit. Like they have like almost no victory points in Kaiserreich. Oh well, that doesn't shock me. I think Cardiff's the only. Uh, uh, oh, my UK have ever, geography. Have you ever played um, Red Flood? I have not. I've heard a couple good things about it though. It's it's interesting. It's a really unstable piece of crap. Really, that's <laughs> the politest way to put it. Like, I I was doing an Austria playthrough. And of course, I got good old H and yeah. Yes, I'm going to do that. And then um, France has this little puppet in Italy, and I decided mm. to take out Italy, the uh, main Italy. And I was yeah. like, okay, great. So I puppeted them. Um, and then the puppet, well, it's not a puppet actually, it's faction. They decided to declare war on my Italian puppet and obviously me. And for some reason, when I killed them, France capitulated. And I'm huh. like, what? So, that was the easiest war I've ever thought. I was like, well, it's a bit anticlimactic, and then the game keeps crashing after that point. So I had to bin it. And I was uh, like, oh, well, great, thank you. Uh, yeah, it crashes a lot. It's it's not really stable, but it's interesting. Very interesting. Just wanted to be... Right. Okay. Spend time doing playthroughs. Interesting. How, how much uh, Fuhrer Reich do you play? Oh, can I say that F word? <laughs> you, uh, yeah, it's fine, though. It's... One of them Reich... One of them Reichs. Yeah, the Reichs. Yeah, Reichs. Um, yeah, I do play. I do play a... Oh, I did play a decent bit of it. I kind of went away from it, but I do come back every now and then to, yeah, let's sign that treaty. Oh, yes, that instantly makes me claims on all of uh, the Baltics. <laughs> nice. Wait. Italy, Hungary, El Salvador, and a few others get Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Wait, why does El Salvador get that? Because they're fascists. Ah. Yeah, that's true. That, that's like the nation that always goes fascist and makes like a zillion divisions. Mm hmm. Yes, and they only have like two little, two little bits of land that they just stack. 
Put all the boys oh. in the army. No one will kill us. My phone again. They've already got 17 and 29 divisions. Speed with Send the ultimatum to Lithuania. Join me. <laughs> it's 1938 and we're already doing that. Glorious. It's kind of weird not having Japan go invade China by now. It's already May it 1938. They're kind of... They're not really doing anything, and Qing China's not done the independence war yet. I am so This is too peaceful. Them. It's too peaceful. This is what happens. It'll explode. Everybody in the mums will join a faction. All right, UK, you guiding the colonies. France, where are you up to? Colonial military factories. You guaranteeing Belgium. What is Belgium oh, doing? Oh, gosh, I've got... I, I could invade Poland. Right. Or go in Lithuania. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, you know, if you go to war, I'll, I'll be kind of sitting on the sidelines just kind of watching things happen. Because if I go to war, uh, the allies might not like that. But if the Soviets do, they might like that. Oh, oh Latvia. Latvia's gone. Thank you, Latvia. Mm. Get Tasty. me that other entry into the, uh, the Polish faction. Now Estonia just needs a fold. Oh, I think so I claim cool. Arabia. Okay, Romania, your time to bend to me as well, please. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Bulgaria. Oh, I forgot that Bulgaria takes some land too after you take like Slovenia. Oh, they have a little. Kind of a bit... They have a little. Uh... Double bulge, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say bulge, but I'm like, hmm. Uh... Oh, that's not not the greatest word. To yeah. Use there, but it, it, it works. It works. See, people slight me for that. Like a lot of times, like uh, when I'm fighting wars, there'll just be like a bulge of enemy troops. I'm like, we've got to deal with that bulge now. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Ah, oh, good stuff. Let's see. Tanks, 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 tanks. Oh, wait. I'm still... I'm researching Marines. Yeah, that's right. I need more army XP. Ship stuff? How's the ship stuff? Oh, my on? gosh. Everybody's giving me my land back. So I love like, it waiting. when a plan comes together. Everyone is so cooperative. They really are. They're like, do you know what? You can take my land. I didn't need it. Yeah, I didn't need it. I didn't need to survive the game. I didn't join you. I'm in Estonia. Come on. You're the only one left. <laughs> you find out that Sony just says no. <laughs> no, and I kind of I kind of just want those twenty-four divisions that have got stacked on the border just to be able to invade Poland, and I might actually just go for them. Oh, oh, you got Bukovina uh, as well. Yeah, not just Bessarabia, but Bukovina. Yeah. They gave me it all. I'm like, well, thank you, Romania. I will now let you live a little bit long. Wait, they've done Balkan dominance, and they've done absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, glorious. Well done. Well. You haven't at least done, they don't even have 400k in their army. Oh! Wow! Uh. Wow! Your yeah. army is terrible. They only have seven military factories. What have you been doing? <laughs> Making a whole lot of divisions, probably. A whole lot of divisions, but not a whole lot going on in them. Marine. Oh, marines are done. Nice. Um, I don't have a lot of army XP. Just go ahead and do that for now. Let's see. What do I want to do? Oh. I need to focus on my industry a little bit, maybe, perhaps. Perhaps on my industry. Actually, get rid of that first. Do that. Military factories. You know what? Let's start doing that a little bit. Right. The ultimatum is away to Estonia. Will they accept? I need more guns. I need more medium tanks. You know what? For, yeah, we got Just one of Just more of everything, really. 52% world tension, not bad. Uh, FDR still. No, there? just wait until I invade Poland. That's gonna fly. Oh boy, ideological fanaticism. They went. Uh, Poland first. That's right. They went with Poland first. The between the seas oh, treaty with Lithuania, beautiful. the Baltic alliance. Oh yeah. I am so tempted to actually invade them. I do have more divisions. I'm oh, ready. Goodness. Don't have officers purged. I am. I am full strength you Soviet have Union right now. One heck of a Soviet Union, Jesus. <laughs> and, yeah, it's all. It's 1938, and I'm basically done. Oh my goodness. Nice. Well, I'm hungry. If um, you're gonna need it. You already took stuff from Romania, which is good. Because yeah, now so I'm gonna I start. Leave the rest for you. Yeah, I'm gonna start puppeting them, maybe if possible. Let's see. Unless they went a certain direction already. Which they might have, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Stop it. Oh my goodness. Ah, a little bit of action. Let's see. 
Oh, it's looking, it's not looking too bad. Right, I'm gonna go for positive heroism. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just wanna see what's going on. It's, it's not too bad. Do we have air superiority? We have air superiority. There is nothing. It's just a matter of time. Oh, man, I hope Joey Stahl accepts an, an alliance, because he looks pretty formidable now. Yes, I am. I am. Gosh, I'm going to have all my European territories back. Let's see, do that. Another army of infantry. Oh, I can get an encirclement. I'm just staring at the open space in the line. No, get there. I want to get that one division encircled. Yay. <laughs> Small success. victory. Strategic Small victory success. Soviets. Also, Hungary, they took Volj Vodino. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's okay. Oh, uh, right, yeah, uh, I know what you mean. Oh, look at that. So, wait, so right now you're going superior firepower, right? I will be soon. Oh, I really okay. do need to go ahead and unlock another research slot, but it takes so long to get to them. Yeah, you're anti. I was looking at your anti fascist diplomacy. 210 days. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's great. It's like, I've got a 210 day purge to get through, then I've got to get through the fucking anti-fascist diplomacy thing. I was only really doing that to, um, to get, like, my claims, but yeah. I got the claims for the Molotov from the drop pack, so it's kind of pointless. Ugh. And then there's the, uh, anti-capitalist diplomacy. Yes, which I may actually do for once, because we'll be taking the capitalists. Yeah, that's true. I guess we'll still be taking the fascists as well, though, so I guess it does still make sense to do it. Yeah, you can reconcile Japan, claim Xinjiang, the common turn, Southern Thrust, War with the European. You can reconcile with Japan. It's gonna take them down. <laughs> reconcile them and then backstab them. Yes, oh, the good old backstabbery. The good old Italy move right there. There you go. Oh, man. Come on, Lithuania, you're gonna capitulate in a second, I hope. Kinda holding me a little bit better now. Okay. Okay, Poland. Challenge accepted. Poland. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, 66,000. Okay. 68. Lithuania is barely holding on. They've actually not lost too many guys. 7,000? Damn. Like they're holding out like relatively yeah, okay yeah. compared to their casualties. Oh, they're actually. And I feel this like is I could why have... I never go mass assault. <laughs> yeah, because it sucks. I really should. I'm changing the purifier. Can I actually use some experience for that as well? Let's just get that well truly awesome. underway. I'm glad I said Altache. Thanks for the army XP, Dune. Oh, you're welcome. You're going to be my future ally. It makes sense. <laughs> Let's see. Throw on some medium tanks there. Let's see. Come on, get in there because I'm going to cut them off. Prepare yes. the Marines. Take Palagna, if I've said that right. The port. Take hmm. it. How is Lithuania still alive? That's uh, what I want to know. The Lithuanians, they fiercely defend their freedom. To the last man. Oh, wait, well, war propaganda? I... Sure. Against the Soviet Union? Sure. <laughs> oh, we're trucking to Moscow. Not Moscow, Warsaw. I'm not trucking. <laughs> trucking to Moscow. Ah, oh, there goes Warsaw. Well, that was... <laughs> yep, that was a nice wee drive through. <laughs> I'm I'm driving the Danzig now. Let's, oh, what? let's what? speed. What? Uh, for a second there, I'm like, oh god, do I own Danzig already? No, no, you don't. You don't. Not yet. You will. You will soon. Oh damn! I should really stack that. I've actually cut them off from the capital right now. All those nice. divisions. Wow. No, some of the reds need to stay on that, please. I need some coming inwards. Otherwise, we're gonna have an encirclement of our own occurring, and that would just be disastrous. Can you get the crack out, please? That might actually kill them. Oh gosh, this has turned into a hella mess. <laughs> You're supposed to take Danzig, man. Don't stop. Wait, why am I trading Wait, with me. the United States? Please, pop it. Ah, oh, the fourth international, huh? Great. It hasn't really done anything for me. <laughs> it's just, it's pop I think that has been. Don't mind me, I'm just researching. I'm being just peaceful a hilt. Just a peaceful guy. That looks disgusting. Yeah, it, it's it's not great, but I've cut them off from the capital, which is now Poznan, and they're so close to dying. Oof. They are so close to dying. They are dead. I... Yep, they, they, oh, hey. they are dead. 
Let me just go ahead and take all of this. Uh, I think if you yeah, just take it all and then the yeah, the then fire. I'll be like honor the honor the act or not. I hope Which this I, does. I will hope not. Does. <laughs> oh no! Oh, actually, we can already do the alliance. Oh damn! Wait, who can I invite? Oh. I'm not gonna click anything. Oh, hello, Romania. It's not really gonna. Dies, but yeah, I want to make sure I get them as uh in my f oh. as puppets first, and then oh, oh Hungary and Romania actually. Yep. Oh, oh, that'd be good. Then they won't have a choice but to stay with me. Pretty much. Like, oh, the communists. So, well, so I want to uh, maybe ask you to pause it. We're at like about thirty-three minutes right now, thirty-ish. Oh, yes, yes. So. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. Cool. Uh, cool. I guess we'll uh, end the episode here, guys. Um. Uh, what have we done? Well, Dune has gone to war with quite a few people. Or at least, you know, Lithuania and Poland. He had a great time, and we discovered the, the fun mechanics of mass assault doctrine. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, maybe, if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, if you don't know Dune, or you don't know me. And uh, hope you guys have a great, great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow.